Hi everybody, I wanted to make a video on design and dashboard design. A lot of times when you have a dashboard, it's very easy to put the metrics together and lay them out in a manner that makes sense to you. Of course, you know, we want to make that dashboard as attractive as possible, but there are limitations to what you can do as a data person. You don't possess all skills. So sometime you will need to work with a designer and what this video is about is how to work with a designer and how to learn as much as you can from that designer so when you were actually putting together dashboards some of those basic concepts you can reuse to make your data storytelling more effective and impactful which is the objective of you know data visualization so i have my friend megan on and she's an excellent designer so she's going to walk us through some tips. Hey everybody, I'm Megan. I am a graphic slash visual designer by trade and I'm here to help you visualize your data. So my five main tips as a designer when trying to visualize data or anything to make something more helpful through the eyes of design would be number one, layout. Make sure that you have decided upon a layout of your page so that when a client or customer is seeing something for the first time, it is easy to understand and easy for their eyes to travel down the page. Number two, hierarchy. Make sure that you want the most important things in the most pertinent spot and the least important things in the least pertinent spot. That one's pretty easy. Number three, spacing. This one is more about details. Make sure that your spacing tells a story here. Do you want things to be centered? Do you want things to be left aligned? Think about it as in an organized desk space. You want things to be in the right spot at the right time. Easy to reach, easy to see. Number four, color. This one comes after you are done with all of the important things, uh, layout, hierarchy, and spacing. Color is more of a secondary thing because you can play around with what type of story you want to tell. Do you want it to be bold and dramatic and dark? Do you want it to be light and airy and happy? So that one you get to play with when you're all done with the harder things. And last but not least, number five, details. The devil is in the details. Make sure that if you are working on your spacing, that maybe everything is spaced proportionately. If all of your boxes are supposed to line up to the top, make sure they're all lined up to the top. If your text is left aligned, make sure it's all left aligned. And colors, if you are trying to use a set color palette, make sure you don't veer too far off. Try using a certain number of colors. So devil's in the details. And now let's get our video started and see how we can get this dashboard to a final place. All right, here's our markup. I have left some notes on the original dashboard and we are going to follow along in this fast video. So as I previously stated, we're going to start with layout. I have already predetermined a layout for this data analyst and I have said that it would be best if we tried to make the title bold and the subtitle match in the same text as well as the text below the title. It's important, like I said, devil's in the details, that we make sure all of our text is the same family, font family. doesn't have to be all the same size, but to make it look nice and clean, it would be best if you choose one or two font families to stick to. Next, we're going to make sure that our most important information is up top and nice and clean. That's where we want the customer's eyes to travel to first. As you see here, uh, we are making sure the labels to the left are all the same. We are capitalizing everything, making sure that they're all centered. And they're going, that's going to make it look nice and clean in the left margin. So that's part of our layout. We've decided that we're going to have a centered text at the top and a left margin for labels. And then our right margin will be rather large. And that will be for all of our graphical information. Right now we're working on spacing. 
one of our top five notes for design and the spacing here has to be pretty equal because we're working with uh, the page cut in thirds. So if our dollar amount at the top is going to be centered, it should be centered to the middle box and to the $6.86 and as well as to the margin between the two graphs. That is the center of our right hand margin. So this spacing cleans up this side of the page. Now this is kind of uh, interesting because the spacing should be even throughout the page but that doesn't mean that everything on the page has to align that would be crazy so now we're gonna work on colors sometimes depending how you work it might be easier to start fidgeting with the colors before you're totally designed and finalized it helps you see like where your flaws might be here and we've decided to go with a more dramatic effect with the darker colors and remember when you're working with a dark background it's important that your text is legible there is even such a thing on the World Wide Web as an ADA color contrast checker that can be handy for you to see what colors are best over a foreground and background. So here we are trying to make a nice light colored text over this charcoal background so it's very legible. And we're going to pick just a few colors to accent. Uh, we have decided on a nice light blue text and a light gray text. And I think we are adding in even a secondary blue for hierarchy purposes. Uh, we are going to add in a nice little icon here. This will help the client understand that what we're trying to portray with this large dollar amount up top and that is one of our more important pieces. As I had mentioned before, after changing the colors it might be easier for you to see where you maybe have missed something and here what we're working on is recentering and realigning all of our text and graphics. So look how our three boxes in the center of the page align with the three data points right below. And then the two graphs are centered to each other with a nice margin in between so that the eye has an easy way of traveling up and down the page. We've got a lot of negative space and it's not too congested. That's our final product, and we're going to show you a big screenshot of how it came out. So this is the final product. Uh, this is a zoomed out. You can use the view here to, to change you know, how the client or how your user will actually see this. This is a more zoomed in view, but I like to leave this out to full width so you can see the full impact. And you could always put a, a, a bookmark here to go to a zoomed in. Uh, so, Megan, uh, I already, when I look at this, do you see any things that I could have improved? I think it looks great. I think as I look at it now, I would say maybe the blue text in the left-hand margin might be a little hard to read. Um, mm. We might want to make that match the title. It's a little bit of a lighter blue, but, you know, that's just a... Can I ask if, if what if, you know, because you were talking about, like, um, hierarchy and making things, um, you know, stand up. If I put this text in gray, would it completely invalidate it in your mind or, or should actually match the title? I think it should match the title. I do I do like the secondary blue personally. I just don't know that over this dark gray it's that easy to read. Mm. Um I I but I like the idea of a secondary blue. It makes it pop. It makes my eyes travel right to that margin so I know what I'm I know that I'm reading these titles before I'm even looking at the information. So if we want to check to see how legible that blue is over that gray. Again, like I said, you can go to that ADA color contrast checker online and that will help you visualize. So let's go over one more time what we studied at the beginning of this video. Number one, layout. Did we decide on a nice layout for our dashboard? 
how do we want to organize it, what's most important, what's least important, and how do we want our client, customer, slash user's eyes to travel on the page, which brings us to number two, hierarchy. Remember, most important things in the most prominent places, least important things in the least prominent places. Which brings us to number three, spacing. Look how nice and even this spacing is. I can, I can see that the title, the text, the first point of information, the second, the third, all lined up in the center. Our labels to the left all aligned. Everything looks great, which leaves some negative space for my eyes to relax and take a break. Number four, color. We really like how this bold charcoal gray mixes with our light blue and our light gray text. And we've offset it with a dark emerald here. And I think this makes it really easy to read as well as um, a very interesting. Remember, with color, you can also use this as a place for um, meeting a client's needs as far as branding goes. You can always match colors to brand colors. And number five, details. Devil is in the details. Go back over your dashboard, save it, resave it, and then check to see if you have missed anything. Is there a lining, a spacing that you missed? Should a line be shorter? Should a line be longer? And also, don't forget to check your grammar. But overall, I think we did a great job here. This looks awesome. All right, so I hope this video helped you improve your visualization skills and gave you, you know, some, some tips that you can digest and use in your next uh, dashboard or your report or your data visualizations. I hope that helps. Thanks.